In this video, we're going to be talking about the definition of a radian, converting between degrees and radians, finding the complement, supplement, and the coterminal angle of a radian. So let's begin with the definition of a radian. So one radian, or rad, is the measure of a central angle theta that intercepts an arc S equal in length to the radius R of the circle as diagrammed in our picture here. Now algebraically, this means that theta equals s divided by r, where r is measured in radians. Now when we talk about converting between degrees and radians, it's not too difficult. So if we're going to go from degrees to radians, we're going to take our degree and we're going to multiply it by pi radians over 180 degrees. If we're going from radians to degrees, then we're going to multiply the radian measure by 180 degrees divided by pi radians. That can seem a little bit intimidating, but let's do a couple examples and let's show a little bit easier way to take care of that. So we're going to convert 120 degrees into radians. Okay, so we're going from a degree to a radian. So we're supposed to multiply the degree by pi over 180. Not a problem. The easiest way to do that is simply to divide the 120 by 180, which gives you 2 thirds, and just put the pi next to it. Or go ahead and put the pi on the top, right? That's where it was at. So 2 thirds pi and 2 pi over 3 are the same thing. Most times we see it written as 2 pi over 3. Now we're going to convert negative pi over 12 into a degree, which means that I should be multiplying my radian measure by 180 and dividing by pi. Now notice that there's already a pi in my numerator, so if I divide by a pi, I'm going to be able to cross those out. So I'm just going to go ahead and cross that off now. So I'm going to put the 180 in the numerator, where it's at, and the 12 on the denominator. So I have negative 180 over 12. Then I can simplify that and get negative 15 degrees. Now let's find some complements, supplements, and a coterminal. So remember that a complement means two angles that add up to 90 degrees. Well, 90 degrees as far as radians goes is pi over 2. So to find the complement of theta equals pi over 12, we're going to take 90 minus our pi over 12, or rather our pi over 2 minus pi over 12. Now here we need to get common denominators so we can actually subtract those. So we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator of pi over 2 by 6, which gives us a 6 pi over 12 minus pi over 12. When we subtract those, we get a 5 pi over 12. Now another way that you could do this would be to simply drop the pi and say, okay, I have 1 half minus 1 12, plug it into your calculator. When you plug it into your calculator, you get 5 over 12. And then you simply just need to put your pi on it. And that's all there is to it. Now to find the supplement of 180, or a supplement of theta rather, remember that a supplement is two angles that add to 180 degrees. So here we're going to take 180 minus 5 pi over 6. But because we're dealing with radians, we're actually going to take pi and subtract the 5 pi over 6. So here we have five, uh, pi over 1 minus 5 pi over 6. And in order to subtract these, we need common denominators. So we'll multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 6, which is going to give us a 6 pi over 6 minus 5 pi over 6, which comes out to pi over 6. Now, we can also do this the same way we did the last one. We're going to take 1, because it's 1 pi minus 5 over 6, plug that into our calculator, and that's going to give us 1 over 6. And then we just need to put our pi there. And remember that 1 pi is just pi. Let's go ahead and let's find our coterminal angle. So we have a coterminal, we want to find the coterminal angle of theta equals 17 pi over 6. Now, when we have degrees, we take our angle minus n times 360. Well, 360 degrees is 2 pi. So we're going to use that same idea here. So we have our angle theta minus n times the radian 2 pi, which is the equivalent of 360 degrees. So here we have our degree theta, 
which is 17 pi over 6. And so we're going to take that and put that into our theta spots. So we're going to have 17 pi over 6 plus 2 pi. And we plug that in, we're going to get 17 over 6 plus 2. We're going to plug that into the calculator. Don't worry, the pi is going to come back. So that's going to give us 29 over 6 and then the pi next to it, which we can write 29 pi over 6, which again is the more common way that we see our radians. So we have our positive one. Now we need a negative coterminal angle. So again, we're going to take our 17 pi over 6, but this time we're going to subtract. And we're not going to just subtract 1, 2 pi. Let's subtract 2 times 2 pi this time which is going to give us 17 over 6 minus 4. And the reason that we chose the 2 is because 6 goes into 17 at least two times, which means if we just did it one time, we would still have a positive number. So instead of doing an extra piece of work, I went ahead and said, hey, we're going to need a, a 2. So again, we have the 17 over 6 minus 4, which gives us a negative 7 over 6. Let me put the pi there. So we get the negative 7 pi over 6, as our answer for our coterminal angle. So we have a positive coterminal angle and we have our negative coterminal angle. Just remember that if you take away a pi symbol to be able to plug something into the calculator, you've got to make sure you put it back. And the more complex what you're putting into the calculator, the more you probably shouldn't take your pi away. You need to leave it there and just manipulate your equation algebraically.